All right, so we had a few people asking questions about how to perform problem 1784 in, no, 1786, 1786 in the book. All right, so I'm going to show how to do that one here. 1786, it says if we had 0.18 molar solution of nicotinic acid, salt, the sodium salt of the nicotinic acid. All right, so we don't know what nicotinic acid looks like, but we don't really need to know. We just want to say that it's, uh, oh no. Some, uh, it's the salt, right? So it's the, the salt form, the ion of the acid, right? So this would be the nicotinic acid over here, the acid with the proton but it's the salt, and the salt, if you just add the salt, the salt is going to act like a base in removing a proton from water to form hydroxide ion. All right, so this is what the nicotinic acid is going to be doing. Uh, we are told that this is 0 0.18 molar to start off with, so if we form an ice table to help us figure out what's going on here. We know that there's going to be some dissociation occurring, uh, so this has to be a minus x, this has to be a plus x, and a plus x there. At equilibrium, the concentrations are going to be 0 0.18 minus x. Uh, we don't know the Ka initially. We don't know the Ka of uh, this. Uh, we don't know the Ka of this acid or the Kb of it. So, I mean, this is the Kb that would govern or that would describe this equation here. We don't know what it is, but we can assume that it might be small. It's a weak acid, so it's probably small. So we'll, we'll discard that x there, and these concentrations will be that, right? So then in this scenario, what we would do is if we had the, the Kb for this, then that would be equal to x squared over 0 0.18, right? That's what the, the Kb would be equal to. Um, and then this x here is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. Now, we don't know, I mean, we don't directly know the hydroxide ion concentration. We're told that the pH is 9.05. And from the pH, we should be able to determine what the pOH is, and from that, we should be able to determine what the, uh, the, the H, uh, OH ion concentration. So I'm going to try to find the pOH here, 14 minus... 9.05, that's 4.95. So pOH is equal to uh, 4.95. That means the OH ion concentration I can find by taking 10 and raising it to the negative 4.95. And so the OH ion concentration equals 1.12 times 10 to the minus 5. So that x there should be equal to 1.12 times 10 to the minus 5 if it really is the pH of 9.05, right? So if I take 1.12 times 10 to the minus 5, that's my x, I have to square it and divide it by 0 0.18, and that value should be equal to what? My Kb. So if I take this value, square it, and then divide it by my 0.18, that's my Kb, and then if I take 1 times 10, times 10 to the minus 14, and divide it by whatever I got for that value there, then I should get the Ka, right? Because the Kw uh, equals Ka times Kb, right? So, um, or in other words, the K, sorry, let's rewrite that, the Kb equals Kw over K. All right, so for this, I'm getting 1.43 times 10 to the minus 5. The Kb, let's solve it again, 1.12 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, I square that value, divide by 0.18. Uh, the Kb I got, so this is the Ka. Kb I'm getting when I solve this problem right here. Um, 6.97 times 10 to the minus 10. That's the Kb. So I got the Kb, I got the Ka, 
I got the KB, I knew the KW, and I could identify the KA, right? KW over KA equals the KB, yeah. So if I have the KB, I can put the KW over the KB and find the KA. All right, so that's how that one was done.